So the way we got involved in collecting this art was actually I was invited to Australia in 1984 to uh, go to an, I'm a social scientist and I was invited to go to an institute for advanced study. I come from a world of collectors in Baltimore, Maryland and I'd always wanted to collect art but the art that I I'd been trained in and that I loved was much too expensive for me. I couldn't afford an, a Manet. So I was looking for something that I would love and that I could afford. And when I saw Australian Aboriginal art for the first time in 1984, I found what I was looking for. And several years later, I was married to Bob and um, got him interested in it. And that's when we really began to collect. It became a, a real adventure for us. Well, Margaret led me into uh, Australian Aboriginal art when we got married in 90 and she convinced me in 91 to go to Australia with her and we went to the museums and the galleries so she trained my eye to catch up with hers and we bought a couple of pieces together. Actually one of the pieces is in the show here, Why All the Sugar Bag Man. After that we just went crazy but we've had so much fun doing it. So I think it's a multi-level experience and I hope that people are able to attain and access all of those levels, the aesthetic and the story and the laws that people are trying to convey and the sense of immense responsibility to this earth that these people have. A lot of the painters have uh, indicated that one of the reasons that they come to painting is to show people they have a culture. They have a 50,000 year old culture and they want people to investigate it more and, and that's kind of a hope too is that the, the curiosity about the Australian Aboriginal culture uh, as well as aesthetic is developed through the show. And they've also used the paintings and one of the reasons they developed the contemporary painting movement is in order to get rights back and the stewardship back land rights. Of the, on the land and the seas that they've been um, trying to maintain for all these 50,000 years. We hope people see it and are interested in discovering it for themselves and going to Australia and purchasing the art. But we also hope if they do, that they do so in a very ethical way. There's a real concern about the way in which the art is sometimes sold. Um, so there, we buy from community-based art centers that are part of the culture and from dealers who represent those communities or who in other ways have ethically sourced the art. So it's very important that anybody who purchases the art or is interested in doing so, whether it be by the internet or with a dealer, that they do their research and make sure that these really are responsible sources.